Before the introduction of steam engines and electricity, the only source of power that humankind had the ability to control was wind. It not only powered our sailing ships, but also hundreds of thousands of windmills that were, and still are, used all around the world. Windmills enabled our ancestors to transform the power of wind into a physical force that could be used for the basic jobs of grinding grains and moving water to many more complex industrial and agricultural needs. Modern windmills as we know them today first appeared in England in the 12th century. Some are still preserved today, like the 19th century six-sailed mill in the northeast Lincolnshire village of Waltham. been a mill on this site since 1666. Of course they sort of burnt down, fell down, blew down. This particular one they've got behind us was the, the, the last of the ones to be built and it was built in 1881 so it's its 140th birthday this year. We are relatively unique. We're one of the only six sail working mills within the country. With it being one of the last of the line commercially built mills, if you like, that's the pinnacle of milling technology. So when you go in there, if you like, that, that's the most up-to-date sort of windmill that you get, you're going to get. Our flour is stone ground with what they call a French burr stone, and it's the best milling stone in the world. And we have a set here that work brilliantly once the maintenance project is complete. The bricks they used to build this mill were from a local brickworks in Waltham and they weren't particularly good bricks so hence 50, 60 years on the bricks were all beginning to crumble and that's why we've ended up having to tar the front of the mill to protect the brickwork and the danger of that is once you tar it now you've got a maintenance problem every five years you've got to re-tar it. It fell into a pretty bad state of repair obviously these things cost a lot of money. Our previous chairman Dr Pip Carter took the job on in again the late 50s early 60s and he's done an absolutely fantastic job. And in the year 2000, we had a big lottery grant and we got a whole new cap and sales and repairs done. And that was all the hard work that was done by the volunteers led by Dr. Carter. Our plans now is obviously to get the mill into a fully operational state again, so we can mill and sell flour. And we want to welcome a lot of people and new people, new members to the site um, and get them to have a look around the mill. It's amazing on how many people are local um, that have never been. Uh, so we'd just like them to come up and have a look and enjoy the facility. We've been here many, many times before. My parents have a chalet at Fitties, so it's almost like a second home for us, really. Have you been in the windmill today? Yeah. yeah. And did you like it? Yeah. I think it's just the, the history of it all, how old it is and how beautiful it is. I live in the village, so uh, it means a lot to me, the mill. I'd been a miller 15 years. Uh, eight years I've been doing it now. Yeah, two years apprenticeship and then uh, and now I'm teaching these new lads how to carry on. So I can see the mill from my house, so I didn't want to see the sails stop turning. You know, when you walk in there, I've been used to working in the oil industry and some of the engineering that I've seen over my working life, there's nothing new. You know, it was all in there, all the things that, that, that goes on in the mill, you can see in modern engineering, you know, nothing's new. But it's just important to keep things like this for all the youngsters and future generations. So. We're trustees of the, of the Waltham Windmill, so we're here today to uh, have a look at some of the, the work that's been carried out over the past couple of months. We're very lucky to have it in our village, so I think it's incredibly important to keep it maintained. Oh, I think it's very important because it's part of our heritage, isn't it? We haven't got many local uh, historical places, have we really? <laughs> yeah, you've got to look after yeah. them. Our job now, all of us, is to keep it there. Our plans now is obviously to get the mill into a fully operational state again so we can mill and sell flour and we want to welcome a lot of people and new people, new members to the site. The Waltham Windmill Preservation Society is dedicated to maintaining the workings of the mill and occasionally grinds best quality grain to produce the finest flour. We're looking at people to join the Preservation Society. It's free membership to the mill all year round. Please 
if you can join it's very easy it's on the website in, uh, all i want to do is get the mill up and running again and having the people go in whilst it's shaking and rattling and moving uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to it as the power of wind once again plays a critical role in the future of humankind, North East Lincolnshire is at the forefront of the battle against climate change as a centre for the wind turbine industry.